Today we are back on the Philly Tall Podcast. Shout out to everybody who came through the live stream. Y'all know I've been sipping, but the Eagle players are pissed. So I'm not even going to play the intro yet. Listen to how they feel about we can clinch next week. It doesn't matter. They're pissed. I'm not even like focused on that right now. I could give two about clinching in the uh, first place. See, right now we got to get a lot of things fixed. I got to get a lot of things fixed, so... That's what I'm focused on. Like I've been saying to these guys, just got to go back and watch the film and, and be brutally honest. And be brutally honest. I know that there are two handful of plays that I want to take back. And I'm, I don't care that my mom's here. I'm swearing because I'm emotional. It's a big loss. It's a big loss. And it's, it's frustrating. The guys just got to come together. The guys got to see what they really want to do. Like this be over. We just played terrible. That's that. Didn't execute. Didn't go out there and do the things we were supposed to do. Had some um, penalties that set us back. We just played bad. Oh, uh, you got to find a way to stop the bleeding. Stop the bleeding. But they all have something in common. They were all swearing. You know why? Because they're pissed. This is Philly talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, eagles fly. This is Philly talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Tall Podcast, and I didn't even change the graphic. Yes, the Saints beat us. They put 20 on us. We scored 10. Mind you, the defense that we were crying about early came through for us multiple times. 13 points allowed. Minshew offense trash. Pick six. But you heard the players. They were all swearing. Now listen, Eagle Nation, do not panic because the MVP – Jalen Hurts will be back. And you heard me in the live play-by-play. The team got to own this. Cowboys game was on the defense. Saints game is on the offense. But the similarity is this. Jalen Hurts wasn't there. I don't want to make jokes, but you hear me in the play-by-play. If I'm not crying, I'm laughing. I'd rather laugh than cry. But that being said, Hurts feels for the team. He sees them mad. But he's like, it wasn't me. Y'all lost to the Cowboys. It wasn't me. Y'all lost to the Saints. It wasn't me. But it's the team. But the whole system quarterback, bloody boo block. Get that out of here, right? Let's talk Jalen Hurts. Need to be back soon. Mind you, the Giants might sit their starters because they can't get any higher or lower. Do I want to backpedal into the number one seed? No. But Cowboy fans will swear. That we got lucky. That's not the fact of the matter. The fact of the matter is this. We were so good week one through 13 that we are allowed to mess up. We're allowed mistakes. And other teams got to do what's best for them. You don't backpedal into the number one spot. Preparation. Being the best team in football consistently is why we will still fall into the number one spot. And this team that's played over the last two weeks is not who we are. The players understand they got to get things fixed. Listen one more time, and we got to talk about the Josh Sweat update. But one more time. I'm not even, like, focused on that right now. I could give two about clinching in the uh, first place. See, right now we got to get a lot of things fixed. I got to get a lot of things fixed, so that's what I'm focused on. Like I've been saying to these guys, just got to go back and watch the film and and be brutally honest. And be brutally honest. I know that there are two handful of plays that I want to take back. And I'm, I don't care that my mom's here. I'm swearing because I'm emotional. It's a big loss. It's a big loss. And it's, it's frustrating. Guys just got to come together. Guys got to see what they really want to do. Like, this be over. We just played terrible. That's that. Didn't execute. Didn't go out there and do the things we were supposed to do. Had some um, penalties that set us back. We just played bad. Uh, you got to find a way to stop the bleeding. No. Big thing A.J. Brown said. We all know things got to be corrected. Penalty-wise, execution-wise, play calling wise If you want to bring the Cowboys game, defensively-wise. If you want to bring the Saints game, offensively-wise. 
there's one person that can pull everybody together that was missing. Jalen Hurts. Now I'm so passionate about the Eagles, and I'm upset. I ate my pizza. I chilled. Watched a couple shows with the kids. But I heard this. I saw this update. I saw this update. We going to talk Josh Sweat too. But help your boy out and hit the like. I never wait till the five minute mark to say like, subscribe, ding the bell, and check the link in the description. Never. But things got to be corrected. This can't be a happy-go-lucky stream. Josh Sweat, though. Jeff McClain says, First, Josh Sweat has been transported to a local hospital as a precaution following a neck injury. He has movement in all extremities, Eagle said. That was cool. That was cool that he has movement. Still worried about the human being and the football player. Now, we don't know when or if he'll be back. But the human being, Josh Sweat, who helped the Eagles break a NFL record with four-plus players in the NFL season having 10-plus sacks. Josh Sweat's a part of that. Jeff McClain says, Eagles said that Josh Sweat will be released from the hospital tonight. No further update, but good news on that front. If he stayed in the hospital the rest of the night, he definitely not coming back. I don't want to rush the guy. But the Eagles got to correct some things. Tonight was the offense big time. Biggest correction will be implemented in when the games matter. How much does this Giants game matter? A lot. But you heard the players. How they feel right now, they don't care about tomorrow. Tomorrow don't matter to a competitor that played their worst game. Look at the people who were talked to. Devontae, wide receiver, offense. AJ, wide receiver, offense. Kelsey, center, offense. Malata, left tackle, offense. That was the pitiful performance that I've ever seen from the group in its totality, including Nick Sirianni, including Shane Steichen, and definitely included the backup quarterback. You don't panic, Eagle Nation. Because when his team is together, CJ coming back, Lane playing through some stuff, but coming back, Hurts coming back, we know our potential. The Giants game is the utmost importance to keep all the games coming through Philly. However, with their win, their status, they might rest their starters. Read the room, feel it out. I got like four slices of pizza in, inside here. Pause. Full. Tipsy. Tired. But I had to give you all the Joshua update. And when I heard what the people said, a hey, shout out to Snipes. Snipes three, Snipes three two something on Twitter. Shout out to you. Because you DM me this. You DM me. The John Clark interview with, or the John Clark Link to all this. Shout the Snipes 3 to something. But the players understand. Y'all understand. I understand. And it's all about get healthy. And let's play Eagles football. Until next time, leave your thoughts in the comment section. And again, I said hit that like and subscribe late. Do that for your boy. Listen, there's nothing positive to take from this game. But there's still one more. That's it. Like, subscribe. Leave your thoughts. I love hearing from you. I don't think anybody picked the Saints winning, so I'm going to go back and check that video with the score prediction. We'll see who's the closest, but it's going to be very hard with us losing. It is what it is. I appreciate y'all. Leave your thoughts. We out.